I'm sitting here in the boring room. It's just another rainy Sunday afternoon. I'm wasting my time. I got nothing to do. I'm hanging around. I'm waiting for you, but nothing ever happens. And I wonder. It's obvious we had one very, very, very big, outstanding hit. This was the lemon tree. But I always say. Better to have a, to have a, be a one-hit wonder than to be a never-hit wonder. If we wouldn't have that hit, we would not sit here, we would not play there, we would not travel to America, we would not travel to China. So we feel blessed that we had this one big hit wonder. I say, um, though it sounds not that that nice when you when you hear it and people people tell you you're a one-hit wonder, but we we are over that uh, over that point and. I mean, we do it for 25 years now, and I think slowly but surely, most of the people realize that Fools Garden is more than just one song. I think the problem starts if you see yourself as a one-hit wonder, but we never, we knew relative, relative quickly that uh, that some people would uh, st would print us with that uh, expression. But um, and for sure, for many people, it seems like the Fools Garden had one hit, and then there was nothing, nothing more. I mean, we did like 300 interviews in, in two weeks. And there was one guy, I remember, he wrote, I think he wrote a letter. And he, he was from England because he had this in music school and he said, now I know the meaning behind it. I know the meaning of this language. I know what it is. And he wrote, it's a guy who hangs himself in this lemon tree. So, so this was the, the weirdest thing I ever heard. <laughs> I said, okay, I didn't know that before. So uh, this was the last thing. I, I mean, the last new thing I heard about the, the reception of this song. And a lot of people have a strong memory because they were young and they were, you know, they, they played the song when they were merry or whatever. But I never heard this funny st story again that a guy hang himself in, in the lemon tree. That's it. I think that's the He asked, am I right that the protagonist yeah. hangs himself yeah. at the end of the song? And we said, the... yes, you're right. That's you're right. Funny, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I didn't know the story till a, till a few days ago, but I was told by a host of a TV show in, in the Czech Republic, which was recorded in Bratislava in Slovakia, um, that in 1996 the Czech Republic won for the very first time the European Championship in ice hockey. And at that time the Lemon Tree song was very, very popular over there. And especially, meanwhile, the, the championship it was played all the time when the Czech team was playing. And so it became kind of a national anthem for, for the Czechs. And this was... I really got a goose king when this host told me that, that story because I still remember the moment when, when we were writing the song, when the song came out of the studio, when we let it fly into the world, and to, to get such stories back and such, uh, to be part of, of the lives of some people in this world. This is really wonderful, and great, and that's why I'm still proud about that about that song. Not so bad. Huh? This is, this is